The Oregon beer industry is booming. Breweries are popping up all over the state. But here in Albany, there's only one, the Kalapuya Brewing Company. And we're stopping by for some simple food that doesn't skimp on flavor. Hello, my name is Paul Huppert with Kalapuya Brewing Company here in Albany, Oregon. And I'm gonna make for you chili beer chili. We start with very simple uh, browned hamburger that we've browned and drained the fat off of. I'm going to add this. Actually, I'm not going to add this. I'm gonna use this particular thing for the receptacle for our chili. Once we have our five pounds of browned hamburger that's been drained of its fat, I'm gonna add stewed tomatoes that have been mixed with Anaheim chilies. I'm gonna mix that in with that hamburger. Very simple, about two quarts of kidney beans that have been drained. I'm gonna add that right in there just like that. And then I got about a quart and a half of tomato sauce, just your garden variety tomato sauce, super easy. And then our own unique spice blend that I can't tell you what's in it or I'd have to give. This goes right in there, just like that. Any kind of chili spice will do, anything, whatever your favorite is, whatever your own blend. And then, of course, the pièce de résistance, our chili beer. This is a pitcher. We like to use a pitcher of our chili beer in every batch of this chili. And that just goes right in there like that. When cooking with most beers with a high hop content, or any hop content for that matter, um, when you add it this early in the recipe, danger it can you, you can run into the problem of uh, overbittering your food. Hops tends to, as it heats up, become very bitter and add too much bitterness to your food. But in the case of this chili beer, which is very minimally hopped, most of the flavor that it gets, it is an amber base. Uh, most of its flavor is coming from the Anaheim jalapeno and serrano chilies that are in it. And so that actually just gets better with heat. The same year that they opened in 2006, uh, they had a big chili cook-off to determine what was going to be the chili that we would serve in this restaurant. And this actually, was, this recipe was developed by Mark and Laura, the owners. So, um, and they were, it was voted best recipe. And as you can see, nothing could be more simple it's all about that chili beer. That's really what makes it unique. And then we just put this on a, in a double boiler with a little bit of water, cook it, or you can put it on your stove top in your own thick bottom pan, that would be my recommendation, and uh, stir it often because this is gonna come out good and thick and it's even better the next day as of course any chili is. Chili isn't the only thing they're whipping up in the kitchen, but you won't find yourself lost in a large menu. It's very simple and that's you know, kind of um, our philosophy is, you know, keep it simple, stupid. It's, uh, it, it, it works. Making simple food with local products is their key to quality. However, we don't do, uh, you know, four-star four dining service, but we make everybody feel welcome. I would like to see a time when we kind of head in the direction of a gastro pub, but we will never be the kind of pub where it's going to be more about the food than the beer. This is our 15-barrel system. Uh, that means we can brew 30, bar 30 kegs of beer a day. This is our keg cooler. This is where we keep the finished product. This is our favorite room, not only because it's so cool this time of year, but it smells incredible, which of course we can't translate to television, but uh, the fresh hops. They're also putting out around 30 the, uh, different concoctions. We use these uh, bourbon barrels to age some of our beers for specialty. We have 14 taps uh, in our pub. Um, uh, we never have room for a guest, guest tap because we have so many of our own beers um, that are needing to go on tap. Um, and then we have a lot of uh, handles that we pour, uh, that our beer is poured off of in various bars throughout the Willamette Valley, uh, from Portland, um, uh, even Vancouver, Washington, uh, Salem. Eugene, Springfield, and Brownsville, Lebanon. And we're hoping to expand that even more now with the uh, bottling advent. While the Kalapuya Brewing Company is continuing to grow, expanding its distribution to include much of the state of Oregon, they are keeping their focus on the customer. I want them to come in here and uh, just have a good time, get kind of swept up in the feeling of camaraderie that we have here. Um, we really strive to be that neighborhood pub. Keeping Tuesdays tasty, I'm Tony Gist, KVAL News.